Welcome to Introduction to Kickboxing, where we're going to do some low impact yet explosive training. And we're starting straight away with shoulder rolls. So rolling the shoulders backwards, arms are straight, and I'll roll it. We're starting with a warm up, then we're having a workout, some core training, stability training, a cool down, and stretches. You up for it? So change sides if you want to, you can become a little faster and shoulder rolling. So this is a kickboxing workout, we're doing kicks and boxing. You do not need a partner though, so it will all be no contact. Become a little faster. A few more seconds. Three pulse lunges backwards. So three pulses backwards into a lunge and then coming back forward, changing sides. Here we go. As always, it's 10 seconds of rest, 45 seconds of workout. If you need more rest, Maximum would be 1 minute 30, so double the amount of your workout time. That's for beginners. Intermediate is same, same. So 45 seconds of rest, 45 seconds of workout. And the advanced would be half the workout time for rest. So that's 20 seconds, 22 seconds of rest and 45 seconds of workout. Of course, if you're super expert, you can keep the 10 seconds, so that's all up to you. Next one up, starting with the boxer bounce. So this is teaching you how to stay light on your feet. Simply bouncing laterally. Here we go, 45 seconds, bouncing laterally. So this is teaching you your footwork. Also teaching you that boxing is not something where we stay stable on one leg, but we're ready to move in all directions and we're kind of having our weight in between our feet. So start moving in all directions, back, forward, laterally, diagonally. Keep it light and easy. And just like in kicking, we're never locking our joint. We always keep our knees bent. Five more seconds. Continuing our warm up, squat and knee. So, knee forward, upper body slightly kneeling back, leaning backwards. And if you want to do it, you can bring the hand to your guard and then to the hip. Guard and hip, guard and hip. So, knuckles to cheek and then both hands to your sideline. Squat as low as you can. If possible, hips go knee height. Now, advanced version would be bringing the arms overhead, engaging your latissimus and your back. Bring the knee forward. Try to get the knee above your hip. Last one. Perfect. Jab cross, right leg forward. Start with bringing your knuckles to your cheek. That's your guard. Now the weight is in between your feet. Now twist those hips. Twist your hips and then shoot out the arm just right in front of you. Now footwork. Make sure you're twisting, you're turning your foot on the toe mounts. So lift the heel in order to be able to turn the foot and twist the hips. Knees, feet and hips are always pointing in the same direction. You're not twisting the knee, you're not twisting your ankle. Knee, ankle and hips are always pointing in the same direction. Keep boxing, that's jab, cross. Now change side, last warm up move. Left foot forward, right foot back. Now, first of all, start with bringing your hands to your guard. So knuckles to your cheek, and then start with turning the hips, lifting the heel, turning the hips, 
and then shoot those arms out. Always bring the arms back to your body as quickly as possible. Knuckles to cheeks, elbows against the rib cage, elbows protecting the rib cage, and never lock your elbows. So never lock into the elbow joint. Pull the arms back as quickly as you can. Here we go. Jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Keep going. Seven seconds. Perfect. Let's have a little bit of a stretch. Feet white. And now pivot all the way over to your left leg. High lunge. Since we're kickboxing, we're needing a lot of mobility in our legs. So make sure you're dynamically stretching here. Now bring the arms lower, lowering your hips down, stretching your hip flexor. Open up, working our rotation, right hand on the ground, left hand to the sky or ceiling. Twist the chest towards the bent knee. Look away from the video if you need to. Now stretch both legs, hamstring stretch. We do need a lot of hamstring flexibility for our kicks. Then come down, 10 push-ups, either on your feet or on your knees. Bend the elbows, try to touch the ground with your chest. The head can go left and right, so get the nose out of the way. Keep your core tight, pull the navel in. Left foot forward, come back into lunge position, and then switch forward. Bend the left knee, stretch right inside of your thigh. Adductor stretch. We need flexible adductors for our side kicks and run hard kicks and then squat all the way down. Stretch the right leg, toes pointing to the sky. Change sides, adductors first, then the right knee. Left adductor stretch. And then squat down all the way. Lifting the toes. Another great hamstring stretch and ankle mobility. Here we go. Lunge position on the right side. High lunge first, dropping the hips. Moving over your toe joint. Then lower the hands down. Getting ready for opening up. Left hand stays on the ground, right hand is opening up. Pivot your chest towards the bent knee. Pull those shoulder blades nicely together. And then stretch both legs, hamstring stretch, nose to the knee, bending forward. Relax your breathing because here it comes. We're going into mountain climbers, plank runs 20 times. So bring the knee forward 20 times, count in your head. Pull the navel in, strong shoulders, step forward with the right leg, bending forward and then roll up, pull the navel in. Wonderful, we're starting with some kicks. So balance on your left leg, right leg is kicking to the side in low, mid, high. This is the preparation for roundhouse kick. So your foot stays point all the time. You're pulling your right hip up and crunching your right shoulder towards your right hip. So you're leaning over to the side. Your ground foot and ground knee is turned out while your kicking leg is turned out as well. So you need to open those hips. Never lock into your knee. Always pull the foot back as quickly as you can. Wonderful, you can have your hands 
Anna begins her cheeks for your guard. Are the ready? Take a break if you need to. Otherwise, get ready for roundhouse kicks low mid high with your left leg. So get into position. Turn your left foot out. Open your hips. Lean over to the side. Crunch your shoulder against your hip and then kick it out, foot point, low, mid and high. So you will feel a crunch in your oblique side abdominals. Keep working. Pull the leg back as quickly as possible. Don't lock the knee, low, mid and high. Keep going, that's low, mid and high. Lean over to the side, engage your abs. Open your hips. Five more seconds, keep going. Wonderful. Remember then squat knee from the warm up. Now we're kicking, front kick. We bring the knee up first and then we're kicking. So squat it low, then lift the knee and shoot the leg out. Front kick, alternating. Squat as low as you can, hips knee height. Then when you're coming up, pull the knee up with you and then shoot your foot out, forward. Foot stays flexed. The front kick is a stomp, as if you would want to kick a door. So front kick is a stomp, shooting out from your knee. If you want to, you can bring one arm down on the side of the kick, or simply keep your knuckles against your cheeks, the elbows close to your rib cage. Take a break if you need to, 10 seconds of rest. Otherwise, we're going straight into alternating hook. So open those legs, same rotation with the hips. Hips, knees and feet are pointing towards the same direction, lifting the heel on the rotating side. Now bring the elbow up. Imagine you're looking at the wrist watch. So the wrist is looking towards you and you're punching with a bent elbow right in front of you. Look at your watch, look at your wrists. Wrists are pointing towards you. Elbow is at wrist height, so lift those elbows up as much as you can. Arms in, quickly. Knuckles to cheeks, keep your guard. Safe by the bell, uppercut. Right foot forward, left foot back. Same hip movement, leg movement, and with the cross jabs. So start with rotating your hips. Knees, feet, and hips are always pointing in the same direction. We're lifting those heels up so we're able to rotate. Now keep those elbows in and then punch from the bottom up. Keep those elbows bent. We're only punching as high as our eyes, so the elbows stay bent at all times. Quickly putting those elbows back to your rib cage and your knuckles back to your chin, to your cheeks for your guard. Keep moving those hips, don't forget the leg movement. Keep the weight in between both feet. Not on the right, not on the left, but right in the middle. Change sides straight away, you can do this. 10 seconds of rest. Left foot forward, right foot back. Start with simply moving your hips. Lifting the rotating foot onto the balls of your toes. Then move those hips. Most of the strength is coming from your legs. So keep the legs engaged, bend both knees, keep the weight in between your legs. And now punch it from the bottom up. Your punches fly all the way to your eye line and then fly back again. Knuckles back to your cheek. Elbows closed, protecting your rib cage. Wonderful, keep going, that's 10 more seconds. Don't forget your leg movement. Keep lifting those heels, protect your knees. Let's get down for some core work, stability training. We're starting with an elbow plank. Now move your hips left and right. So you're pivoting your feet all the way to the left and all the way to the right. 
while your shoulders stay parallel to the ground, your hips and your legs are shifting left and right. Navel stays in. Pull your navel all the way to the spine, narrowing your waist. Keep it moving, 15 more seconds. So at all our high intensity interval training bootcamp workouts, we will be adding these core and stability workouts for your core strength and ab work. Perfect, stay low. Come into plank position and step forward into lunge. Alternate left and right. Here we go, get into plank, step forward. Big range of motion here. We're working on our core strength, our shoulder strength, but also on our hip mobility and hip opening. If you want to go further, you can add a slight rotation by turning the head and your nose towards the bent knee, towards the step that's coming forward. Get a few more in, that's 10 more seconds. And then we're stretching, so this is your cool down to come up. Come back up to standing with side stretching. So come with your feet parallel. You can bend both elbows backwards, opening the chest, and then shoot leg and arm all the way to the left side, crossing backwards, stretching and reaching the arm overhead, and then come back to center, bringing your both fists to your hips. Make sure you're crossing your leg backwards, but you keep your weight on the straight leg. Now include your head, your upper body into the stretch and lean all the way sideways. Lean over all the way, reaching with the arm overhead and come back. Perfect, chest opener, very important. So again, stay parallel, then Open the palms forward and then open the arms all the way to the side. If you feel a little tight in your neck from all those punches, from all the boxing, you can tilt the head sideways, make sure to lower both shoulders, pulling both tips of the shoulder blades together. You can always nod the head forward and backwards, keep it nice and easy. And try to pull those thumbs even further back, opening the shoulder a little bit more. Keep the navel in. And release. A little bit of a glute stretch here. Figure four stretch standing. So cross the right leg above the left knee. Push the hips back. Stretch the arms overhead. Keep your balance. We need some balance for our kicks, so it's always a good way if we're working on our balance even when we're stretching. Now sit a little lower, push those hips back, bend the knee, keep the arms engaged and lift it. Lift the chest, lift the chin. Keep breathing. Almost there. Come back up. Then change side, cross the left leg above the right, over the, over the right, figure four stretch. Stretching our butt, our glutes, a little bit of our hamstrings here. Then shift the hips backwards, shoot the arms out and sit back and down into your glute stretch. So stay right there, that was introduction to kickboxing, hope you enjoyed it. You can always come back here for some basics. Always make sure you're not locking your elbows, nor your knees, and you're trying to be as fast as you can to increase your metabolism and fit and fears. Thank you very much.